Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ness and welcome to a video where I'm going to be talking about price fixing because price fixing is still happening and I found that out because, um, yeah, I am going to be trading to Team of the Year Sergio Ramos. Uh, I made the choice to uh, trade to Team of the Year Sergio Ramos instead of Dani Alves and uh, yeah, I don't have a high budget yet so I tried to trade with silver players and uh, yeah, the players I tried to I tried to trade to with were like popular silver players and they all have been price fixed by the same group. I'm 100% certain of that because these these guys, they literally have like 50 accounts and they just price fix every decent or big silver player. It's ridiculous. I've been seeing all the names over and over again. They're just like mixed team names like Briston Villa, um, I don't know, uh, like just the standard ultimate team names you start off with and it's the same name on every single player I search for. I've been looking on players like Dan Lino, uh, Jan Mats from Feyenoord who is, uh, who is price fixed like 7k. I mean, who would pay 7k for Jan Mats? I mean, yeah, I maybe would because I'm a Feyenoord fan but trust me, he's not worth 7k. And these guys are just price fixing so many players and they're doing it effectively because they're not uh, doing it on one account, they're doing it, they're, they're, they are doing it on multiple multiple accounts like 30 accounts to 50 accounts or something and yeah they're just undercutting each other well they're basically undercutting themselves to to let people think that the player is not price fixed but it actually is they, they just bought every single player um of yeah they just bought every single player that, that was on the market for a couple days i think i mean you cannot buy all the players in one day because when you buy all the players uh, on a certain time two hours later um new players of, of the same player will be will be up on the market again that's a hundred percent certain sure so yeah i think they just have been buying like players for a couple days and then uh when they basically owned like 90 percent or 95 percent of that player they just listed him up on the market price fixing him price fixing him undercutting themselves by a little bit just to um let the buyer think that the player is not price fixed because if i see that a player is price fixed i never buy him because uh, you won't make a profit on him and when i get a, uh, that player for cheap i basically undercut um the price fixer and my player gets bought and his doesn't get bought and i basically ruin his price fix because price fixing is very hard but yeah these guys are doing it very effectively and uh, if you guys want to price fix yourself, you're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need like multiple accounts, as in like multiple, multiple accounts, and probably like multiple people. You can do this on your own because you will need loads of coins, literally like millions and of coins. So, yeah, I think you need like 10 million coins to to basically price fix all these players. It is impo It is just insane how how much they basically price fix it's ridiculous like the amount of players they price fix is just insane i think they price fix like 30 players or something and yeah that is just an awesome job and i think they made loads of coins from this but uh yeah you need loads of accounts loads of people probably and loads of coins and you gotta be prepared to lose coins because i'm sure some of these price fixes filled at them because i've seen some people intervening and undercutting the price fixers by like a k or something and then of course your card will not get bought if you price if your price is like 2k higher than the lowest bin i mean that, that that's just obvious everyone is gonna buy the cheapest player on the market and uh yeah so if you guys want to price fix yourself you really do need a lot of accounts you really need a lot of coins you really need a lot of people and you need to be prepared to actually lose out on coins because this can feel very hard and that's why i am not doing this anymore price fixing is just too risky for me um i've done it like three times on uh fifth 13 uh, I succeeded once and I failed very hardly twice. So yeah, I'm not doing that again. And uh, yeah, that's about it, boys. I just wanted to update you about these price fixes. Watch out. They are basically price fixing with different clubs. And uh, it doesn't seem that they're actually price fixing, but they actually are. So uh, yeah, I just uh, I, I just wanted to warn you for that. So uh, be careful because you, if you buy the, those players, they will drop a lot and you won't be able to sell them for a profit. And uh, yeah, that's about it, boys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys do have something uh, uh, with this tip. And uh, make sure you leave a like. And subscribe if you haven't already and uh, be prepared for trading to team of the year Sergio Ramos and a new episode of R Ronaldo's Road to Dream Team very soon. Be sure to follow me on Twitter uh, if you guys want to wager me and uh, yeah that's about it. Let's see if we can smash 400 likes on this video and uh, yeah thanks for watching boys I'll talk to you guys on next time. Peace!